Question 5.1 consists of one finance question, one probability question, and four data handling questions that were designed to assess your understanding of bar graphs, exchange rate, and the cost of international imports and exports of goods. You are given a context that states that a country's importing and exporting activity can influence its gross domestic product, abbreviated as GDP, its exchange rate, and its level of inflation and interest rates. You are given a graph on Annex C that indicates the total imports and exports in 2021 for selected countries. In question 511, you have to write down the type of graph that is used to represent the data. The type of graph used to represent the data is called a stacked bar graph. In question 512, you have to write down the total combined imports and exports for Egypt in US dollars. From the graph, the total combined imports and exports for Egypt in US dollars is 82,5 billion US dollars. In question 513, you have to write down the probability as a decimal of one of the selected countries having a total export of less than 40 billion US dollars. From the graph, we see that these five countries out of the selected eight countries have a total export of less than 40 billion US dollars. As a fraction, the probability of selecting one of these countries can be written as 5 over 8. And as a decimal, the probability of selecting one of these countries can be written as 0, 0,625. In question 514, it is stated that when a country imports more than the export, it creates a trade deficit. And when they export more than the import, it creates a trade surplus. You will have to write down whether Egypt has a trade deficit or a trade surplus. From the graph, we see that Egypt imports more than it exports, so Egypt is in a trade deficit. In question 515, it is stated that Norway's biggest export product is crude petroleum at a value of 22.6 billion US dollars. You are instructed to calculate the crude petroleum export as a percentage of Norway's total export value. From the graph, we see that the total export value of Norway is 82.5 billion US dollars. So crude petroleum export as a percentage of Norway's total export value is 22,6 divided by 82,5 multiplied by 100 and this equals a percentage of 27,39%. In question 516, it is stated that the Norwegian currency is the Norwegian krone. You are instructed to calculate the value of the fish export in Norwegian Crown if the export of fish has a total value of 13.4 billion US dollars. You have to write your final answer in Norwegian Crown and you will have to use the exchange rate 1 Crown equals 0.101 US dollars. The value of the fish export in Norwegian Crown equals the total value of the Norwegian fish export of 13 billion 400 million divided by 0 0.101 US dollars per Norwegian Crown and this equals a value of 132,673,267,300 267,327 Crown. Question 5.2 consists of four finance questions designed to assess your understanding of personal income tax. You are given a context where a 25-year-old male is currently working in one of South Africa's biggest milk-producing companies as a forklift driver. He receives an annual taxable income of 125,325 rand. Table 7 is a tax table that shows how much personal income tax he must pay. In question 5 to 1, you are instructed to calculate Michael's annual tax payable. From the context, we see that the person receives an annual taxable income of 125,325 rand. This means that he earns an annual taxable income in the first tax bracket. In tax bracket 1, the tax rate is calculated at 18% of the taxpayer's annual taxable income. 
So the annual tax payable for this person will be 18 divided by 100 multiplied by his annual taxable income of 125,325 rand. And this equals a tax payable before rebate of 22,558 rand 50 cents. Since this person is younger than the age of 65 years old, he qualifies for a primary rebate of 15,714 rand. So his annual tax less rebate equals 22,558 rand 50 cents minus the rebate amount of 15,714 rand and this equals an annual tax less rebate of 6,844 rand 50 cents. In question 522, it is stated that New Zealand has a progressive tax system like South Africa where they pay a certain percentage of tax for every dollar of income received. Table 8 indicates the tax rates payable for income received in New Zealand. There is a note that states that progressive tax is used like a step tariff system, using each step as needed. In question 522a, it is stated that Michael considers moving to New Zealand. He will receive an annual salary of 16,500 New Zealand dollars. The following formula may be used to calculate his annual tax payable. The tax payable will equal 14,000 New Zealand dollars multiplied by 10,5% plus the annual salary above 14,000 New Zealand dollars multiplied by 17,5%. Since Michael will earn more than 14,000 New Zealand dollars, he will have to pay tax to the value of 10,5% of that 14,000 New Zealand dollars plus the amount of 17,5% of 2,500 New Zealand dollars. The 2,500 New Zealand dollars is calculated by finding the difference between the annual salary of 16,500 New Zealand dollars and the upper limit of 14,000 New Zealand dollars. Now substituting the value of 2,500 New Zealand dollars into the given formula, you can calculate the annual tax payable as 1,907 New Zealand dollars and 50 cents. In question 522b, you are instructed to convert the tax payable in New Zealand dollars to South African rands. You can use the exchange rate 1 New Zealand dollar equals 9 rand 94 cents. The tax payable for earning 16,500 New Zealand dollars in New Zealand in South African rands equals 1,907 New Zealand dollars and 50 cents multiplied by 9 rand 94 cents per New Zealand dollar and this equals an annual tax of 18,960 rand 55 cents. In question 522c, based on your calculations above, you have to comment on what other factors could play a role in Michael's decision on whether to accept the position in New Zealand. One of the factors that may affect his decision to accept the position in New Zealand could be that New Zealand could offer better living conditions. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this and you can check out this video next.